Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to The Pram Fan. So this is my first review, first look slash review of the My Baby Ultralight Stroller or MBX4. Uh, currently only sold in Aldi but I'm sure it will be on the My Baby website fairly soon. Um, also known as the Baby Zen Yo-Yo knockoff. So first things first, this is it folded. Fairly compact, you can see, pretty good. Um, it folds and locks here and it also folds with the cup holder on this side which I'll show you in a minute which is quite good. So let's see, size does matter. So from the back wheels we have 47 centimetres lengthwise from the top of the bumper bar to the end of the back wheels we have 65 centimetres and let's just do one across here too. About 42 centimetres. Not bad. Okay. So to unfold, we pull up until you hear a nice click. And then we're gonna flick the latch here to unclick. And there we go. And you'll hear it click into place, so it's pretty sturdy. And that's it, that was quick. So you have your seat with the seat liner in, our hood extends and you also have a little bit of visor there that pulls down for extra protection if you prefer you can tuck that back up inside, up to you. There is also a nice peekaboo window with mesh over the top which you can also cover up. It does also come with a rain cover and a cup holder. The cup holder I think is in a bit of an odd position. As a parent I wouldn't really reach down there to use my cup. The child would probably find it more useful. I'm not, so I'm not entirely sure who it's meant for, but hey. So, stroller height, this is pretty good for me. I am um, five foot seven, I think. Let's see, how far are we off the floor? So at its highest point, the handlebars are 98 centimetres. Okay, they're not adjustable either, so that, that is your level, whether you're short, tall, 98 centimetres is what we're looking at. Um, so your seat back, adjustable, by this clip here, so you've got a strap on the back which holds your seat uh, up or down and to release it we squeeze the two buttons either side and just pull it down and that pushes your seat down. It does lie fairly flat, um, my baby say it is suitable from birth to around four years old. Um, although it's fairly flat, I wouldn't say it's fully flat, it's pretty close. Whether you'd want a newborn in there, mm, you might want a bit of extra padding, maybe a, a fluffy seat liner or something. Um, this material is quite slippy and it feels like they'd probably slide around a bit. Um, on the whole, pushchair feels quite sturdy. I'm actually quite impressed with it, it's not bad. So to push the seat back up, you're going to push it and then you might have to make sure you pull on both sides at the same time and make sure they're even otherwise you're going to end up with a wonky seat. How easy that's going to be with a child in, I'm not sure. Trying to raise the seat with the strap with the child in is going to be much more difficult than I just did there. So we'll have to give that a go later, I'll review that later. You also have a carry strap here for when it's folded. Um, and your basket underneath here. It's quite a good size actually, it's not too bad given the size of the stroller. So your basket has a maximum weight of three kilograms. And the stroller itself has a maximum weight of 15 kilograms. Um, brake, so you have your brake here. Nice and easy to operate. Just flick on, flick off. Um, front swivel wheels here, these aren't lockable, so they just stay swivel. Fairly, mm, fairly good suspension. Um, there's no footrest on this, which kind of bugs me, because um, it feels like without it, 
the seat base is actually quite shallow. Let's see. So from the back of your seat to where it actually ends is 22 centimetres. So for a larger child, that might be a bit of a problem. So let's push this back. So seat back height. So the height of the seat back around the very bottom to the top, around 40 centimetres. So it's not the tallest seat. Um, if you've got a slightly taller child, their head is going to sit above, whether that bothers them or not. I don't know. Okay, the stroller also comes with a bumper bar, which is a nice touch. Removable, so on the insides here, there's two little red buttons. You need to press both of those in at the same time and pull up and it just slides off like so. And to put it back on, there's little slots either side, line those up with the buggy and push until you hear a click, nice and solid. Okay, so harness, five point harness. And it simply clicks in either side, like so. So no fussing around trying to match pieces and then plug it in while you're strapping a screaming, wriggling toddler in. It's quite nice, quite simple. And there we go. So, okay, to fold it down, head back. Seat has to be upright as well. So if it's lying flat at this point, you need your seat upright. And then on the inside, you have a little red button either side, just at the top here. You're going to push those down together to fold and pull it up like so. There we go. I have found when I've done this a couple of times that if you don't have the wheels, the front wheels, in quite the right position, it won't fold as tight as it should. So that's just something to watch out for. And when it is folded tightly, you'll be able to click that in place and hold it all together with the lock and you're good to go. And this is where you have a carry strap. Ta-da! And there we go. So the stroller weight is 5.8 kilograms and it feels pretty light to be honest. I think I have handbags heavier than this. Definitely have a baby change bag that's heavier than this. So this, this is easily carryable. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed my first look review of the My Baby Ultralight Stroller. Baby's own yo-yo copy. Um, if you like my videos, uh, like and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing a comparison with the Baby's own yo-yo fairly soon. So, thank you. Bye-bye.